this is Kim Speedick from 10 Sigma. Welcome to episode 82 of Transition Tuesday. Today I'm going to talk about teaching students digital literacy. Right now I'm going to switch over to a short slide presentation to share this information. In today's video I will discuss what is digital literacy, why it's important to teach, and things to consider best practices and techniques when teaching digital literacy. Digital literacy is the ability to use information and communication technologies to find, evaluate, create, and communicate information requiring both cognitive and technical skills. Teaching digital literacy is important because as in the definition, teaching digital literacy promotes cognitive reading and technical skill development problem solving and thinking skills, asking questions and seeking answers, finding information, evaluating sources, and making decisions, and creating and communicating information. Since technology is here to stay and is increasingly becoming more important to all areas of society, students need digital literacy skills in order to continue with post-school education and training, gain better competitive employment, and even live more independently. Here are some things to consider when incorporating digital literacy into the classroom. Digital access for all students is critical. Think about how many computers are available and how often they are used. Quality instruction is essential. A well-planned curriculum is necessary. Taking existing curriculum and integrating digital literacy skills must be done in a systematic way. In a study done by Dylan, Maribel, and Valentin, four best practices were suggested for integrating technology into the classroom. The acronym for these best practices is SAFE, Seamless, Appropriate, Facilitated, and Empowering. The S in SAFE means seamless. Digital literacy should be a regular part of the curriculum. Computer use cannot be a rare event. And the most effective way to teach digital literacy is in combination with other instructional modalities, such as group and pair activities, worksheets, use of textbooks, etc. The A in SAFE means appropriate. The digital literacy instruction should match the literacy level of the students. It should also match their technological abilities. The teacher should consider cultural and socioeconomic backgrounds of the students and also any special learning needs of the learners. The F and SAFE means facilitated. Access to technology or computers is not enough. The instructor must take the role of the facilitator to assist, guide, give feedback on the learner's use of the computer, and to provide the learner with tools to learn it, know it, and show it. And the E in SAFE means empowering. Because multimodal learning is filled with choices, the learner over time feels empowered. The learners can navigate independently and focus on areas that interest them. And they're able to access real rather than realistic materials on their life issues. Here are some techniques for teaching digital literacy. Teach the students to mindfully read new media. Ask the students to unpack the mode, the type of media, and genre. Consider the audience who is the intended reader or subscriber of the material. Have them examine the content. Does where it was created provide clues? We must teach students a set of tools to create an environment where they feel safe to voice their opinions on the content presented. Also, help students become makers and thinkers of text. Create simple tools for your class like flexible, common rubrics to enable students 
to self-select topics. These short on-demand tasks not only build writing stamina and ownership of their craft, they also reinforce the interactive nature of writing. And last, offer guidance to becoming responsible digital citizens. With younger students, that begins with interactive conversations around the best practices of using devices. Discuss how much time is appropriate to be in front of the screen, whether it is safe to walk while using a tablet, and what you should do when someone speaks to you while you're using that device. For older students, who will likely be using digital communication, collaboration, or blogging tools, address how to avoid plagiarism approaches and criteria to finding quality online resources, and how to give and receive constructive feedback. For today's bonus, I'll be sending you links to information and resources on digital literacy in the classroom. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you use this information to help your students. Be sure to check your email for the bonus we just sent over. If this is the first time you've ever seen an episode of Transition Tuesday, click the link below to receive the bonus. Be sure to like and share the video and leave a comment or suggestion for a future episode of Transition Tuesday. Have a great week. See you next Tuesday.